Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make wedge bow buns. So let's get started. To activate the yeast, take 1 4th cup warm water. Make sure that the water is warm and not hot. Add 1 teaspoon sugar and mix till the sugar is dissolved. Once the sugar is dissolved, add half teaspoon dry yeast and mix for 4 to 5 seconds. Cover and let this mixture sit for 10 to 15 minutes. It's very important to activate the yeast well. After 10 to 15 minutes, the yeast should get activated like this. If it doesn't happen, do not use it. In a bowl, take 1 cup all purpose flour or maida, add salt as per taste. Give it a mix. Now add the prepared yeast mixture or activated yeast mixture. After mixing it a bit, add water and make a medium soft dough. While adding water and kneading the dough, you should continuously stretch and pull the dough for 10 to 12 minutes. Next add 1 teaspoon oil and continue with the kneading process. Once you are done kneading the dough, cover it with a cloth or a plate and let it sit in a warm place for 1-2 to two hours or till the dough doubles. Meanwhile, let's prepare the stuffing. So for that, heat some oil around 2-3 to three teaspoon and add one small size roughly chopped onion. Saute for 10-12 to 12 seconds. Then add one fourth cup chopped carrot. Saute for 1-2 to two minutes. Then add 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste and saute till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic is gone. Next add 1 small sized capsicum, 1 cup cabbage, 1 teaspoon soy sauce, 2 to 3 teaspoon of shezwan chutney or you can add as per your taste, little salt, the chutneys and sauce already have salt in them. Mix well and then cover and cook this mixture. Once the mixture is cooked, Keep it aside. The dough has risen well and now I'm going to knead it again for a minute or so. You don't need to knead it a lot now, just a minute will do. Divide the dough into 4 equal sized portions. We are going to steam the bao buns, so we need a steamer plate or any plate in which you will be steaming your bao buns. Grease it with some oil and place parchment paper. You may skip placing parchment paper, but it will make it very easy for you to lift the bao buns later. Now take one portion of the dough, make it smooth and roll it slightly thick, like a puri, but little thicker than a puri. Place a good amount of stuffing and seal the edges the way you do for a momo. Bring the sides together, so try to make it look like a momo or a modak. Or if you are not comfortable doing this, you can just pull the sides and pinch it together in the center. Repeat the same steps. You may keep a small opening or totally seal your bao buns. Next step is to again let the bao buns sit for 30 to 40 minutes. So I am going to keep these for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes the bao has risen. I mean it has already risen before steaming and I had closed the top that is the mouth of the bao buns. Place the plate in your steamer setup and steam at medium high flame for 12 minutes. Make sure you keep some distance between two bows because they would puff up and become bigger. Now look at the size of the bow buns. Carefully lift them.
sprinkle some chopped coriander or spring onion. You can serve these bao buns just like that or with dipped chutney or sauce of your choice. These are so soft and bouncy. Now let me open this one and show you the inside. Steaming hot bao buns with delicious stuffing inside and look at the beautiful spongy bread outside, steamed bao bread. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Derek's Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!